Hello folks, how you doing? Back again. I'm talking about the 360, which is a sacred number. It's the number of degrees in a, in a circle, okay? And uh, because it is a sacred number, it should never be changed. So the ancient sages said that uh, it should never be changed. But because it's a sacred number, it also has to do with uh, the ancient scriptures, the true scripture, represented by mythology. Mythology is representative of what happened in the past, you see. And the way the people in the past lived their, I'm talking about way back there, the way they lived their lives became the scripture. So now... We see that uh, it applies to completion, okay? The finisher, the completer, he who completes the deal or he who completes the circle. This has to do with evolution also. So we have uh, the great mother, okay? And she is always calling. For the humans to come back to her. You see. Because she was there at the beginning. Now when I say great mother. I'm, I'm talking collectively. Of the human beings. Or the original human beings. The first ones. Okay. Uh, I just put it in terms of the great mother. Okay. And so she's always calling. For, for her children. To return to her, the call of the mother. So we see that uh, uh, the Indians in Mid America, the Inca folks who had the great civilization down there and everything, they said that uh, the world would end by water. They're talking about, well, they, uh, you know, People had interpreted that as meaning that it would happen like in uh, you know, 2001 somewhere, maybe 21 or two years ago. Or uh, did it end? Well, it probably did. We, we just don't know it. Changes are taking place. Okay? So now, they said it would end by water. But water represents the female. Yeah, the water is representative of the female, you see. And so therefore, this has to do with the call of the first mother to return to her. And that's, is that what they mean when they said the water, the world would end by water, water would take over? Water taking over means that the female would take over. Okay? The water represents the female, okay? So, when we say that uh, so when we say that uh, there's going to be a return to the female, okay, uh, what does that mean? How, do, how does everyone return to the female? You know what I mean? Well, the first mother, or the first human beings, were androgynous. They were both male and female. Now, I know, you know some of these things people don't, don't they don't want to hear. It's not going to rub right with them. But uh, people, must, we must, people must get rid of their likes and their dislikes so that they can see things clearly. Okay? Because... Many things that they have been told, that we have been told, are distortions of the facts. Now, I'm looking at the mythology, okay, all the ancient writings as facts. Facts of nature. Evolution. Okay. So what happens then when we, when we return to the female? <laughs> well, it means that... Uh, 
the people will be just like her. They will be female. Now, the man, the male, will be her reproductive entity. That is, he will be the semen producing within the woman. Uh, that's what he is now. He's a producer of semen. And, and really, folks, looking at it as it is, the only reason why the male is needed in this world is to fertilize the female. But if she starts fertilizing her own ovum, they won't need the male as an individual entity. He will be her reproductive paraphernalia. Nature is, doesn't have a, doesn't really have much, a say in this. As I said here, we're talking about evolution. Things change. And we're talking about the completion of a circle. If that's how it began, that's how it's going to end. Then the circle com continues on until the next evolutionary period steps in and there'll be a change, etc. You see? But this is what we're talking about. This is what the Inca was talking about. Uh, the world ending by water. It doesn't say that the water is going to disappear. To say things change. The water and water represents the female. That's the way that goes. You know. So, uh, in order to see these things clearly, folks have to get rid of their likes, their dislikes, and the distortions that they have encountered during the course of their lives. Okay. So, if we have uh, this change, as I said, the male... Okay, will be the female's reproductive entity. That's what he is now. Like I said, that's all he's needed for. You see? And when she starts reproducing on her own, he will become the mother's boy. Hence the call of the mother. And like she's calling the boy home. Okay, and uh, that's the end. Uh, what the what the Inca was talking about is talking. It's uh, simply a revolu an evolutionary change. It doesn't mean that everybody's going to fall off the edge of the world or something like that. It's just a change, a evolution. It occurs all the time, and. We folks should be in harmony with it, you see. So uh, back to the 360, you see. The 360 marks such a change, even though the 360 occurs in every, each and every cycle. Yeah. But now that we have entered, let's say, the age of Aquarius, and this is the age where the, the Inca, uh, the Kimites, and even the uh, Chinese and others, you know, have this sort of on record in their sacred writings, so I've been told. That we're approaching that time that the anchor was talking about, you see. There, there's simply a change, an evolutionary change that's going to take place. It's not going to take place overnight. It's taking place now. Uh, people simply aren't paying too much attention to the changes that are taking place and how they are taking place because they're too busy doing other things. It's okay. It's not the end of the world. It's not the end of the human species. It's simply a change, an evolutionary change that would take place in the sick and within the human. So we see now, and this is one of the reasons why 360 is a sacred number, the number of degrees in a circle. And so, if this change, okay, takes place, it will be the 360. It will be a complete cycle. Okay? And that cycle marks a change. It is like, for example, where it is said that the father becomes his own son. That happens at the end of a cycle. 
where there's a child, and he goes through the cycle. By the time he gets to the end of the cycle, he's an old man. But the cycle continues. And it continues as a child. So the old man, at the end of the cycle, okay, is born into his own son, and the son takes over. And this continues on and on and on. He is the completer. And we hear of this completion business from time to time because the guy, Tim, the Kimite guy named Tim, he completes the day. He's the completer. And this is what they're talking about. Completing the day is to complete the 360 degrees. From day to night and back to the end of the day, etc. The 360 degrees went in a complete circle. And this is represented by the god Tim and other, other gods, too. You see. So we see now the, the relationship between the great mother and 360 degrees. She's saying, come back to her. And we, uh, coming back to her would be the 360. They, the humans will have made a complete uh, change, a complete cycle. And this is what they're talking about. It's evolution. It's not good, it's not bad, it's simply evolution. Okay, folks, uh, have a good one, and uh, I'll be back with you soon with another one. Okay, take it easy and have a good one. Okay, bye.